that after 17 years of ministry is undeniable, sending him hopscotching or broadcasting across the country, reaching millions of people daily, the message of the gospel. Hey, I'm Matt, and I think that we'd all agree that this world is full of bad news. As a young influencer with a large social following, Matt Brown laughs at how he once resisted technology. I was slow to get a cell phone, I was slow to get a computer, I was slow to get on social media. Then he learned how those same technologies could serve as a pulpit. I was an evangelist, so I was waiting on pastors to have me come in and preach, and so I was like, I don't need to wait here, I can just write, I can just minister. While he frequently speaks at conferences and churches, and even TV shows, Brown reaches around 5 million people a month through his online ministry, Think Eternity, helping hundreds each year to accept Jesus as their Savior. It's been said that complaining about God being silent when your Bible is closed is like complaining about not getting text messages when your phone is turned off. You want to minister people right where they are, through social media, through the internet, through Google and these things. And so it's just an opportunity uh, and a place to communicate. But Matt also noticed something that disturbed him. People behaving poorly on social media, including Christians, especially when conversations turn political. I'm not telling people that they should engage politics or other things any certain way. Um, you know, there's different thoughts about that, but just we gotta be careful about how we disagree, um, you know, who we call intolerant. It's a topic he discusses in a new book, Truth Plus Love. Growing up in a Christian home, he measured spiritual maturity by how often he prayed or studied the Bible. Now he says it's about something deeper the fruit of the Spirit. You can be passionate about the Word of God and miss all the scriptures about being compassionate and being kind. There's so many. Like, be gentle, bear with each other, like keep the unity. This is why I'm so passionate about this message I wanted to write. Truth plus love. Matt says, as Christian ambassadors, believers need to model both in a balanced way. He believes failing to do so may be one factor turning others away from religion. Today, about one in four Americans claim no religious affiliation, and that number is higher among millennials. Young adults are more than three times as likely to identify as religiously unaffiliated as seniors. Lying is not the path of salvation. Many feel turned off by a view of Christianity seemingly defined by politics or hot button issues. This room is full of bad news. I mean, we get it every day on our phones, we get it on our social. Matt's on a mission to redeem the social media landscape, urging Christians to be good online stewards and model Christ-like truth and love rather than sound off with anger or try to win arguments. So we stop for a second, we go, is this loving? Is this joyful? Is this kind? Is this gentle? Is that, am I exhibiting self-control? If you think about you know, someone who has a lot of love and a lot of joy and a lot of peace, I mean, who does not want to be around that person? You know, I've never met an encourager who doesn't have a lot of friends, you know. So I think God calls us to this. And, and so as we do that, um, it, will, it will make us more effective for his kingdom, you know. More effective in our lives in general. His wife, Michelle, sees that as the key to Matt's ministry. He's encouraging. And there's not many people that are authentically encouraging. And that would be my two words for him, that he's authentic and encouraging. That um, what you see is what is the real deal. His effort to reclaim social media connects him with other partners, big and small, and in some cases, totally unexpected. Like last year, when Facebook, of all places, invited Matt to host a summit of Christian social media influencers. And that was like a really interesting gathering of church leaders. There was about 80 of us. We actually got to like worship and pray in one of the media rooms there at one point with some of the employees. For Matt, this redemption goal means pouring into young evangelical leaders, helping many to grow their influence and sign book deals. I've learned just the joy of generosity through that to open doors for young leaders, to try to be a blessing to them, to not try to seek to uh, get something or build our ministry through them, but to build them. Whether using his influence through social media, his podcast, or as an author, Matt Brown says he remains committed to helping people think from an eternal perspective, extending the truth, love, joy, and grace of Jesus Christ to a hungry and hurting world. John Jessup, CBN News, reporting in Orange County, California.